There is little doubt that a triathlon is one of the ultimate tests of fitness. Running, swimming, and bicycling all in the same day. Doing an Ironman triathlon, 2.4 miles of swimming, 112 miles on the bike, and then a full marathon, even more impressive. Now, trying to do that 100 times. Well, that's exactly what one local man is out to do on a mission to help others in the progress. He joins BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli to explain. Todd Crandall gives 100% to everything he does, to his athletic endeavors, to his nonprofit Racing for Recovery. And now 100, 100%, it's all coming together. You're running your 100th Ironman coming up on October 8th in Kona. And it's been quite a journey. I, I made it here because I had a drug addiction. I made it here because I survived that drug addiction by making a choice to stop using. And for the past almost 30 years in my sobriety, I've been on a constant journey of self-betterment. Just to get to the first Ironman, that's a huge jump for most people to make. Why make that first step? I came from an athletic background. Sports have always been an active part of my life. So when I was done, um, I, I gave up playing hockey due to my addiction. And when I got sober, athletics and nutrition were the first two things that I focused on because those are the things that made me feel better. And I found Ironman as a way to channel that negative addiction and put it, and put it into a new focus of self-betterment. What year is that first Ironman? My first Ironman was November 6th of 1999 down in Panama City Beach, Florida. Now you've made it to 100. At some point along the line, racing for recovery comes into play. How has that helped other people and how has that helped you? Forming racing for recovery was my way of giving back, but what I have found that racing for recovery has given me a life that I never thought was possible. What does it give other people? It gives other people hope. We're the first program that's ever combined everybody who's been affected by addiction into one unique program. So families who are suffering because of a loved one's addiction can be a part of our support group meeting, which is now broadcast live every Thursday night. Um, in addition to HOPE, we offer clinical services that help people understand the impact of trauma, um, educational services and licensure that help people really build a balanced holistic lifestyle in their recovery. I think one thing everybody can relate to, whether it's addiction or whatever it is that they're going through in their life, it's so hard to break habits. What's the most important thing that people need to hear to move on to some form of self-betterment, whatever it is that they need in their life? People need to understand that they can do it. Our slogan at Racing for Recovery is, with sobriety, anything is possible. And that is 100% true. When people make a cognizant choice to stop self-destructing, they are giving themselves the greatest gift ever, which is a daily opportunity to improve their lives. Nobody has to drink again. Nobody has to die again. It's a daily choice. You say it's a daily choice. That is something that you need to remind yourself of every day. When you're struggling, and people do, as in life, right, we're gonna get hit with life's hardships. Uh, that's understood. The problem a lot of people have is they think, oh, I'm hurting, I automatically have to go back and use drugs again. That is not the case. That means I'm hurting, I have to stop and think about what I'm going through, why I'm going through this, and then utilize the Racing for Recovery lifestyles that will help people make that positive choice to remain sober and carry on until the next hardship arises, which it will. So carrying on to your next race here. This is the World Championships out in Kona. Yeah. This is the yeah. big one in Hawaii. So what does your regimen look like before you go out to one of these things? Just hearing you describe it like that, it starts to put the enormity of what this race is. I try and, you know, like knock it down like it's no big deal and stuff, but it's a big deal. The swim start is, I've never had anything in my life that makes me more riddled with anxiety than the start of this particular race in Hawaii. It's daunting, but it's like anything else. You just have to start and breathe and think and act and keep going until you're done and then you get to start the bike. To put it in layman's terms, it's playing in the Super Bowl, it's playing in the World Series, or it's playing in the Stanley Cup. But in the big scheme of things, it's just another day, and for me, it's another day to promote Racing for Recovery, which, by the way, we'll be launching our app on the same day. Awesome, so that race is October 8th. If people wanna get involved with Racing for Recovery, 
how can they do that and what can they do to help someone either there or if it's someone in their own life that they know who is battling addiction. Racingforrecovery.org or tune in every Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. on our Facebook page or our YouTube page for that live stream support group meeting. There's an interactive chat that goes on during the meeting for people to ask questions. The biggest thing I can tell people who want to support somebody else is do not enable them to continue that addiction be there when they are making the right choice to support themselves, then families need to support those positive choices. Todd Crandall, we appreciate your time. We wish you the best of luck out in Kona in a couple of weeks. Thanks for having me.